Have you ever thought about what it means to be created in the image of God? I mean, as you just consider that for a minute, you just think about the, the fact that that's what the Bible says about man. But you see, we've got this problem. When we look at one another, when we look at ourselves, uh, we don't perfectly see the image of God. It's like, it's like we were created to be a mirror that reflects God. But when Adam sinned, he broke that mirror. And so now there's cracks and spider webs all over it. And as you look at that mirror, instead of reflecting the image of God into the world the way we're supposed to, well, it's distorted. And so Romans chapter 3, verse 23 tells us, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So the, whatever kind of glory God had intended for us, we all come short of that. And Romans chapter 8, verse 18 tells us, speaking of living in this present time, he says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So there's that word glory again. So God had a glory intended for mankind, but because of sin, we all come short of that glory. But Romans tells us that we still have that glory to look forward to. And when we compare uh, the difficulties of life right now with what we know is going, it's going to be like in the future, when we're restored to that glory, well, it doesn't even compare. And another verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And so God has a glorious future in store for us. And, and when you look at it now, we're, we're not there. We're not ultimately at the place where God wants us to be, but we will be. And he's taking us to that place. He's, he's working us to that place. So the Bible tells us in the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 27, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. So this is, this is a mystery, this incredible glory that God has for us. You know, we can't, we, we can imagine, I guess, what it was like for Adam in the garden as he walked with God, as he talked with God in the cool of the day, um, where there was no sin, there was, there was no curse on the land. But we can't really experience that because we live right in the middle of a curse. And we continue to basically wallow in that because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But that glory is still there, and God is taking us to that. So he says, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Now, as we've talked about hope, we realize that Bible hope is a guarantee. We hope in the promise of God. It's not, a, it's not like me saying, boy, I hope it rains today. It's like me saying, I hope for the promise that God has given to me. I don't know when it's going to come, this glory, but I do know that it is going to come. And so I can endure the, the frustrations, the temptations, the difficulties of this life because it's going to be momentary and it's going to be light when compared with the eternal and heavy weight of glory that God has prepared for us. So we've fallen short of that glory, but it's Christ in us that is the hope of being returned to that glory that God has for us. And when's that going to happen? How's that going to take place? Well, 1 John lets us in on uh, a little bit more with that. In 1 John chapter 3, verses 2 and 3, he says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. So when, when Christ comes to get us, and this is our hope, that we're going to be like him. And it says, And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. God's going to restore us to this glory that he has for us. And it's going to happen when Christ comes to get us. In the meantime, we have this hope in us as Christ himself lives in us. Let's live with that hope today. God bless you. Have a great day.